22 and a half years. Derek Chauvin hears his sentence for the murder of George Floyd. This is based on your uh, abuse of a position of trust and authority and also the particular cruelty shown to George Floyd. Chauvin showed no emotion as the judge told him his fate. The sentence came at the end of an emotionally charged hearing. Chauvin briefly addressed the court looking nervous and uncomfortable. I do want to give my condolences to the Floyd family. Um, there's going to be some other information in the future that would be of interest. And uh, I hope things will give you some, some peace of mind. His remarks were met with bafflement by many. I just found that um, not uh, not only bizarre, it, it's it's almost in its own way sadistic. Chauvin's mother begged the court for mercy and spoke directly to her son. My happiest moment is when I gave birth to you. And my second is when I was honored to pin your police badge on you. I have always believed in your innocence and I will never waver from that. The emotional highlight came when Floyd's seven-year-old daughter Gianna recorded a poignant victim impact statement. Do you wish that he was still here with us? Yeah, but he is. Through his spirit? Yes. And Floyd's brother Felonis wiped away tears and his voice cracked as he addressed the court. My family and I have been given a life sentence. We will never be able to get George back. Tensions rose on the eve of the sentencing as several George Floyd statues and murals were vandalized across the USA. The statue of George Floyd in Brooklyn was unveiled just over a week ago to celebrate the new national holiday of Juneteenth. George Floyd's face was spray painted. On the base, the name of a white supremacist group was stenciled in black paint. Just released surveillance video shows four men approaching the monument, and this suspect is shaking a spray can. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty. Chauvin was found guilty of murder in April. Since then, he has been in an isolation cell in the Oak Park Heights Maximum Security Prison, 25 miles from Minneapolis. The judge's sentence of 22 and a half years got mixed reaction. It's a punch in the gut. This guy's life was worth more than 15 years. I think that justice was done in this case. Prosecutors had called for a prison term of 30 years, telling the judge in court papers he acted with particular cruelty that shocked the conscience of the nation.